don't mind me i'm just hiding behind some curtains because my hotel room is a disastrous mess there we go hi guys it's and welcome back to craft cuties for today's video i will be doing a detailed scorpion tutorial so this is some tips tricks and how i learned to do it the easiest way possible now let me tell you it was not easy but that's why i'm here to help you guys so if you enjoyed today's video make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below thank you to this comment no, 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 no. thank you so much for suggesting this and with that being said let's get started okay let's let's go outside whoa what a view here's my hotel area the whole way we're gonna go out to like this patio area um i'm scared of taking the elevator i got stuck in an elevator one time so emergency stairs it'll be i was really hoping that nobody was going to be out here right now but there is people out here so it's okay You know what, whatever. I'm just gonna do it right here. Okay, so my very first tip is obviously to stretch out your legs and your back because you're gonna need both types of flexibility in order to do a scorpion. Some simple stretches that I like to do include a low lunge, hip flexor, ooh, ground's really hard. <laughs> well, obviously, This hamstring stretch. I also like to do standing knee holds. Knee grabbing my foot. Trying to push down my knee. Feeling that good intense stretch down the back of my thigh and into my glutes. stretches obviously we have to include seal stretch it's just kind of you know a goodie like to you know, twist Ooh. that feels amazing people are leaving so i think i'll be able to go back over to the grass i also like puppy pose got the spot. Yay. Ah, sun. Oh, this one is like burning my balls. Another one of my favorite back stretches. Also a great leg stretch. You go like this and then you just lean back. If you feel really flexible, you know what, be my guest go and try this variation oh geez just don't stand out too quickly and then finally obviously another great back stretch is working up to a back bend if you can't do a back bend try a bridge it's a much easier variation Like so. Woo. Okay. Cool beans. I'm all stretched out. I hope you are too. If you're not, you could try doing like a stretching routine. I know that Anna McNulty has a lot of leg and back stretching routines, as well as me. I have a few leg stretching routines. And comment down below if you guys want to see a back stretching routine. Okay, so now that we've stretched out, it's time to do the steps. Big deal. So, first things first, I recommend learning how to do the splits. And if you already know how to do the splits, great. Um, if you don't, here is what they look like. Ta-da! Okay. 
if you have that, then I'd also recommend trying a on the ground scorpion. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna bend one leg up, whatever leg you feel most flexible with. And you know what, I have a shoe on, but maybe we can use this to help us. I'm <laughs> grabbing my foot. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna roll over. And grab it with your other hand so that you have better stability. And two off. Oh, jeez. Let me get a better view of that. I'm sorry, this is not great either. But. <laughs> I feel like that's a little bit easier than doing the standing scorpion. So try doing that first. And then if you have that, you're ready. So we're gonna start by working on the transition. So you're gonna bring your leg up, grab with the same arm, and then you're gonna lift your leg up like this. So make sure you can do that. Grab around, and then bring that arm around your head, like so. Now this is a scorpion, but obviously the better and better and more flexible you get, the better it'll look, the straighter your leg can be. So then again, up, bring it a little closer to your head, grab, Whoop. I gotta work on my balance. Boom, up, grab, around, up, and straighten. Ta-da! I would definitely say the hardest part of learning how to do the scorpion is figuring out how to get it from right here to behind you and to where you can grab with both hands. So definitely work on Doing that transition, a huge suggestion that I would recommend if you're just learning how to do it, is try leaning on something first. So for example, we got, for example, I could use this chair. Here, I'm gonna go to the other side. I could use this chair to lean up against or like try leaning up against your bed and then doing it, so. Then if you feel like you're leaning, you have some support. I would also obviously work on making sure that your shoulders are flexible enough to be able to do it. Um, do arm circles. And then one of my favorite shoulder stretches of all times is actually, and it's really simple. All you need is this, pushing your shoulders as close to the ground as possible. You can feel a really good deep stretch. So it's one of my favorites. And with all that combined, you should be able to do a successful scorpion. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Thank you so, so much for watching. I will see you all next time. Bye everybody.